you, Miguel, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Miguel. Miguel, I, I just want to be alone right now, please. Just no. go. No, Kay. I'm not leaving you like this. Talk to me. I mean, what's wrong? Do you really want to know? Of course I do. Like, oh, I'm so unhappy. <laughs> Nobody loves me. More than anything, I have to be able to trust the man I marry. And you can't trust me. Is that what you're saying? What am I supposed to think when you leave in the middle of our engagement party to make love to another Damn woman? Damn it, Sharon, I told you that I was at the police station the whole time. I wasn't with another woman. I swear I wasn't. But you know what? I'll do better than that. I'll prove it to you. How? I'll find this woman that I was supposed to be with. I'll track her down and we'll get to the bottom of no, this. No, Louise. What do you mean, no? I mean that my mind is made up. It's over. Our plan is really working, Julian. Mm, brilliantly conceived and brilliantly executed. And I say that in all modesty. <laughs> I just wish I had a picture of the look on Sheridan's face when she saw her beloved fiancé in the arms of another woman. She had no idea it was an imposter we hired to don a Luis lookalike mask. No, mm, no, no. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, she bought the whole thing. Yes, I'm sure she has told Luis in no uncertain terms that it is over oh, between them. Yes. It's time to savor our success. Wellington whipped Napoleon. Eisenhower crushed Hitler. Schwarzkopf made Saddam cry uncle. And I, Julian Crane, destroyed Luis in Sheridan. Oh, <laughs> Mon General, I salute you. Oh, mm. mon ami. <laughs> Je <t 'adore. sighs> Music. We cannot have a celebration without music. A wee dram? Just to wet your whistle? Not that your whistle needs wetting. <laughs> Imagine that. I've never met anyone like you. You could fight me, but I know you want me as much as I want you, don't you? You know, there's nothing like a smoldering blue song to put one in the mood. Well, certainly working for someone. Julian. Mm, what? what? Uh, well, this song, it's really getting to you. Why? Or is it the singer? What a strange night. You had a bad time, honey. I'm sorry. Yeah, from my father, who's been deceased for years, to all of a sudden appear to me. It was just a vision, honey. That's all. Yeah, but it made me... It made me relive all of those bad moments in my past. The, the accident, the... My tennis career being ended all because of Julian Crane. The past was in my mind, too. Stop it! No! Please, somebody! Help! He's taking my baby! No! My baby! My baby! No! Well, I just want to put tonight behind us. Yeah. I just can't forget when my father, when my father appeared to me in the fog, he said there was something I should know. Something that Julian Crane did to my family in the past. What could he have meant by that? What's wrong? 
it's just, it's just Simone. You know, I wouldn't want her to walk in and see us like this. I mean, she thinks that you're still in love with her. But we are gonna tell her the truth as soon as she gets home, okay? Yeah, I know. We have to. Chad, you love me, me, not Whitney, no, this can't be happening, maybe this is a dream, maybe this is a dream, yes, yes, you know, there's so many weird things that have been happening because of the fog, and, 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 and it's still foggy, so maybe this is a dream, and I'm gonna wake up any moment, and all of this is gonna disappear. Yes, it's gonna disappear. I love you. I've always loved you, Kay. You made me so happy. Not Kay. You love me. How could you think that nobody loves you? That's crazy. But it's true. What about your parents? They don't count. Of course they do. And your sister loves you, and your brother, and Charity, and I love you too. You love me. Of course I do. You're my best friend, Kay. Miguel, I'm not talking about that kind of love. I'm talking about the kind of love where, where two people can't live without each other. The kind of love I saw tonight at Sheridan and Luis's engagement party. That's the real thing, all right. And they're gonna get married. And Ethan and Teresa are gonna get married, and you and Charity are even talking about getting married. Everybody's got someone to love but me. I've got no one. No one to care about. I may as well just get on the next bus and run away. What do you mean? Just leave. Go and never come back. No, don't talk like that, Kay. You're beautiful and, and smart and funny. And Reese is crazy about you. Reese. Okay. You know, if you don't love him anymore, that's cool. You'll find somebody else. I was hoping someone would be you. You're saying our relationship's over? No. I'm saying I want this night to be over. This incident with this woman to be over. And as far as I'm concerned, it is over. But I, told I don't you... want to talk about it anymore. I love you. I want to marry you. I can't live without you, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh, she got out. You know how glad you just made me? I love you so much. I knew you'd never believe I was with another woman. 
Yes. I do believe you. So let's uh, just put it to rest, okay? You still don't believe me, do you? I just got through telling you. I know you. what you said. But I can see what you feel in your eyes. You still think that I was with another woman, and you don't believe that I was at the police station the whole time. It's pointless talking about well, it. Well, it isn't to me. You know, why can't we just forget the whole thing? Because I'm telling you the truth, and I want you to believe me. Look, it, it's just all so weird. You know, first this woman calls on your cell phone, and then, you know, I see her at the party. Who was she? I told you. I have no idea. But I saw you two talking. It wasn't me. The old woman. I mean, she swore that there had never been a couple in her house when I had seen you in bed with this woman not an hour before. Sheridan, that never happened. Had to have been the wrong house. But there was no other house around that looked like it. Well, I wasn't at any house with any woman. I was at the station house. Could I be losing my mind? What other explanation is there? Sheridan, you're not losing your mind. Right. You remember what you saw, but it had nothing to do with me. Look, somebody is playing games with us. Now I'm gonna find out who and why. No, please, just let it go. Let it go? Let's just move on with our lives. Sure. All I want is to be with you. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I'm turning it off. No, no, I want to listen. I mean, there's something about that voice. I, 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 I feel like I've heard it before. Really, I didn't think you listened to jazz. Well, no, I really don't, but... I don't know, it just sounds so familiar. Could I know who this is? I'd better call up. Luis Impostor makes sure he and Dee Dee are... Uh... Leaving town. Yeah. It's Julian. Ah, what's this? Hold still. Well, you two aren't still at that house, are you, after I told you to leave town? Uh, no, no. We're on our way to the airport right now. Well, excellent. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be hearing from you. I want to make doubly sure that you destroy the mask. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll burn the damn thing. Well, you make sure that you do. Without that mask, Luis and Sheridan will never know what happened. Hmm? I hope you're not taking this thing with your father too seriously. Sweetheart, I'm not going to ignore it. Well, honey, you hit your head. You... Your father was just in your subconscious. Yeah, I guess, but it was so real. I mean, what he said was so strong. Don't you know this place is pure evil? And there are other horrible things that Julian's done in the past. Pop, I'm sure there are, but what does that have to do with me? You have clues, TC. You just don't want to admit what you suspect. But you better come to grips with it, son. Because if you don't, it'll destroy your whole family. I won't let anyone destroy my family. I'll find out what Julian did in the past. Oh, TC. Sweetheart, it wasn't just messing up my tennis and taking my career away. My father said that it was something else. If it turns out that Julian hurt, or even so much touched someone in my family, I swear to you, Eve, I will kill him. I love Charity. You know that, Kay. So, there can't be anything between you and me. That's not what you said when we were trapped in the tunnel. You said if Charity had never come to town, that you and I would have gotten together. And that made me look at you in a whole new way. But she did, Kay. And that's the reality. For now, yes. Forever. 
I mean, she's my whole life. You know, we're gonna get married. You know that, Kay. I don't know what to think anymore. Maybe it was the fog. But tonight, when Charity said she saw us about to make love, it got me thinking. Charity's visions always come true. Not always. Miguel, I've never known her to be wrong. And she sure seems to be able to see into the future. And she saw us. You and me. Miguel, what if you don't really love Charity? What if you really love me? <laughs> I didn't see it! It was all my imagination! Okay, or Whitney was not kissing Chad. It was all in your mind. Wait a couple minutes before you go inside, Simone. Okay. You know what? You want me to see you all puffy out. Okay. It's okay, Chad loves you. It was all in your mind. It was all in your mind. Hey, you still worried about Simone? Well, it's late. I mean, she should have been home by now, don't you think? All right, let's just see if we can track it down then. Who are you calling? The book cafe. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, it's Chad. Yeah, listen, Simone Russell isn't hanging around, is she? All right. All right, well, thanks. All right, later. She uh, left a while ago. Oh, man. I'm, now I'm really worried. Where, where could she be? Well, don't worry, all right? Maybe she's just, you know, uh, hanging out with some friends. You know, I love my sister. You know, we're as close as two sisters could possibly be. And I would never do anything to hurt her. But now there's no way that she won't be hurt. I mean, Chad, come on, you are her first love. I know how I'd feel if my first love was taken away from me. You know, especially my own sister. And, uh, who would your first love be with me? No. Maybe it wasn't a dream. Look, Charity's premonition or vision or whatever it was, it's, it's off this time. My future's with her. Because so many of her visions have come true. Why can't you believe this one? Because I love Charity. Now. You know, and, and tomorrow and next week for the rest of my life. Well, then how do you explain Charity seeing the two of us about to make love? There's nothing to explain, all right? She didn't know what she was saying. You know, she saw that statue of the two lovers and she thought it was you and me. But it was just the fog. It affected everybody. I'm sorry, all right? I know that you want someone to love you, but it can't be me. Not like that. I love Charity. Miguel, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be a burden. It's not fair to you. You are not a burden, Kay. It's so nice of you and your family to let me stay here while our house is being rebuilt. You do the same for any of us. We're like family. Family. You know, we look out for each other. I feel so alone tonight. Could you... Me... Uh, no, never mind. Could I what? Could you just lie next to me and hold me? Please. 
shed. Kiss. I'll die. Because then I'll know it's real. I'll know it wasn't my imagination. You know who my first love is, Chad. It's you. Don't do it, Whitney. Don't do it! Don't kiss Chad. Chad loves me! He loves me! Please. Please don't do it. Don't you dare kiss him! You can't do this, TC. You can't let your anger destroy our lives. It's not our lives. It's Julian's. I asked you. No, I begged you to promise me that no matter what Julian did, that you would not try and kill him. Now I am asking you again. Your promise would be the greatest gift that you could give me. Honey, please swear to me that you won't try and kill Julian. Honey, I would do anything in this world for you. But if my father is right, if he hurt anyone in my family, I would kill him. Please, TC. Honey, I'm not going to make you a promise I can't keep. Well, then if not for me, then for the girls. Don't let your hatred for Julian Crane hurt the people that you love most in the world. <clears throat> I thought I'd, uh... Slip into something more comfortable. Very fetching. <laughs> Very fetching indeed. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. And seeing you in this tuxedo gives me an idea for a new game. Orchestra. I'll be the French horn. <laughs> and I'll, uh... Toodle the flute. Oh, you toodle like no one else on earth, Rebecca. <laughs> mm. Well, come on, my love. Your bandbox is waiting upstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's something I must do first. I no longer need to find a way to kill her now that she and Louise have broken up for good. You know, I must say I'm impressed with the lengths you and Alistair went to to break up Louise and Sharon. There are things in the Crane past that can never see the light of day. Yes, there must be. Like T.C. Russell, for instance. Why did he want to kill you? Forget that ever happened. Yeah, as if I could. Hell going upstairs. Let's play right here. Huh? <laughs> oh, my French horn. <laughs> I'm glad you agreed to come and tell my brother that you and I are back together. I just want to put this whole thing behind us. So I'll thank Julian for the party, apologize for the mix up, and move on from there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, oh. move it. <laughs> <laughs> Sheridan, I, I, would, uh, I was just showing R Rebecca uh, an origami move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I heard you were a black belt in origami, Julian. Uh, origami is the art of paper folding, Julian. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> What are you doing here? We came to tell you something about Luis and me. What is it you want to tell me? Is it, is it something bad? Has Lopez Fitzgerald hurt you again? That's part of the reason we're here. Frankly, I don't know what was going on when I looked inside that woman's bedroom. Well, you, 
You saw Luis in, the, in bed with some woman who was here. That's what you told me. I know, but... On the night of your engagement party, your fiancé was unfaithful to you, and you witnessed it. It wasn't me. The man in that bed wasn't me, Julian. You believe that? It couldn't have been Luis. He would never hurt me like that. Well, you saw it with your own eyes. How do you explain that? I made a mistake. Oh, a mistake! Look, I'm not gonna throw away my future with the man I love because of something I might not have seen. The house was dark and I couldn't see very well. And besides, Luis and I went back to investigate. Yeah, we went to the old lady's house. She said there hadn't been a young couple in the bedroom. We must have had the wrong house. I wanted to do some more investigating, but Sharon convinced me not to. I've decided that the best thing is for me to just move on with my life. That's why I'm here. I wanted you and Rebecca to know that I've forgiven Luis. No. You can't forgive him. Look, um, if it'll make you feel better, I'll lay beside you and hold you. That would be really sweet. That feels good. You should close your eyes and try to get some sleep. Everything will be better in the morning. But if I sleep, I'll have bad dreams. Miguel, could, could you stay with me all night? You know, I'll be right down the hall. And if you have any bad dreams, all you have to do is holler. Miguel, please stay with me. I don't think that's... Miguel, please. Okay. You go to sleep, and I'll be right here next to you. All night? Yes. You're so good to me. So nice. Just one more thing. Take off your clothes. What? You're gonna die, Julia. For what you did to my wife, you're gonna die. Oh, 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 oh. TC, oh, let him go. The son let that you and Eve had. Stop. He fathered my daughter's guy. Oh, don't don't kill me. Let him go. And nobody's baby until it's too late. I swear, don't kill me. Oh, oh, let him go, TC. Let him go. Don't kill him, please. No, no, stop. Stop. Honey, you're getting upset for no reason. I won't find out anything that's going to push me into trying to kill Julian again. I mean, he's too smart to come near my family. He hasn't done anything to you or the girls. Look, TC, when you see Julian talk to me, you just get so angry that I'm worried that... that you could do something, that, that in the heat of the moment, that you could act irrationally. Okay, all right, I, I do get a little hyper-jealous sometimes when he's near you. <sighs> Eve, I trust you, honey. I trust you implicitly. I know that you would never have anything to do with that slime. Sweetheart. Don't worry about the girls, all right? I'm going to be around a long time to take care of you and them. No! No! It wasn't the dream. Whitney is kissing my boyfriend. My only sister is kissing the only boy I ever loved. How can you, a crane, let him blatantly deceive you and then simply forgive him? Have you no self-respect? Stay out of this, Rebecca. Well, she asked a good question, Sharon. And my answer is that I love Luis. Well, he obviously doesn't love you. I said stay out. What, betraying you with some bimbo? All right, that's it. Now, look. We came here to give the good news. We are sure as hell not going to stand around and let you insult us. Now, the truth is, is that I was at the police station all night, on duty. And if you... It's a death sergeant. 
have to take this. What can you possibly be thinking? The man is obviously lying through his teeth and you're letting him get away with it again. Look what happened on the wharf. You heard him say he was just using you. And you forgave him. I am not going to tell you again. Luis is like every other man in your life. They lie and they cheat on you and you accept their explanations, but not this time. I'm not letting a Lopez Fitzgerald humiliate my little sister. Ugh. Finally, we can get out of here. Until we get rid of the damn thing. Julian wants me to burn it. Not even this, this crazy fog could come between us. Look, I, I knew you were upset when you saw me kissing Simone. I know, I know. You thought it was me. I know that now. I love you. And Simone is just gonna have to understand that you and I are made for each other. Such a fool! Why didn't I listen to Kate? Why didn't I listen to her? She was so right about everything, especially Whitney. How can my own sister be such a snake? I appreciate your wanting to protect me, Julian, but I can't walk away from feelings. I love Luis. Is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Nothing. You said it yourself. I have a history of letting men lie to me. So if Luis is lying to me, then it's going to take more than words for me to give him up. It's going to take a slap in the face. Well, that shoots me down for the night. Need an I'll stake out. Mm. Sorry. It's okay, I guess. I'll just have to get used to it, like all cops' wives. Mm. I'll call you later. No, oh, no. Can't be reached. Mm. Come on, I'll walk you back to the cottage. I hope you'll be able to accept that I believe Luis and that we're back together stronger than ever. Mm. Well, it's your decision. Mm. What else can I do but accept it? I just want you to be happy, dear. I am. So let's move on. We're going to be needing this. Sure, it needs a slap in the face. That's what she's going to get. Hello. You aren't on the plane yet, I trust. No. Thank God for small mercies. I have one more job for you. You got the checkbook? I got the time. Don't worry about that. You just concern yourself with getting this done. 
I want you to utterly and completely crush my sister's belief in the man she loves. Look, I'll stay here, I'll hold you so you don't have bad dreams, but there's no way I'm going to take my clothes off. Miguel, all I meant was your clothes feel a little damp from the fog and you're going to catch a cold if you don't take them off. Miguel, we're friends. I know I can trust you. You're right. I mean, my clothes do feel a little clammy. I know I can trust you, Miguel, but you can't trust me. Come on! Ah! 